What is up creatives? Welcome back. It's Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. We're gonna be getting directly into where I get my sounds. The question I get the most when I am going live or when, when somebody comments on a video or even on social media is where do you get your sounds? And I want to I want to dive into that. And I'm going to talk about my sounds as, as in instruments, like plugins and things like that. But I'm also going to talk about samples. I'm going to spend the majority of the time talking about where I get my samples and what kinds of samples I personally use. So without further ado, let's jump right into that. The first thing you need to know is there's a lot of good stuff on the App Store. So we're going to differentiate between sounds and samples. So when it comes to like what sounds I use in my music, I do use a lot of plugins and instruments. If you're curious about what plugins and instruments I use, definitely check out my video on uh, my go-to AUV3 plugins that is on my channel. I'll try to remember to link it in the description after this, but definitely check that out. The App Store is a great place for things like that when it comes to music production on the iPad. There's a lot of good stuff that's inexpensive or free, and that's one of the things that's great about iPad music production. So if you're looking for good software instruments, that is where you want to go. Um, another option when it comes to the sound side, and don't worry, we're going to get into samples in just a sec, but the Beatmaker Sound Store, uh, if you're somebody who uses Beatmaker 3, which I do, then you can get sound packs out of the Beatmaker Sound Store. Now, um, I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like. Like I said before, they give you three free sound packs in the Sound Store, and it's up here in this little cart here. I have the three free ones, and I'm, I purchased maybe one or two others. Honestly, I haven't purchased a lot of these. Oh yeah, I've got maybe a few purchased, um, but three of them come free, and the sounds are really good. They're really modern, and I'm really a big fan of those. So that's all I'm gonna to touch on for just straight up sounds, like like instruments, software instruments and stuff like that. Won't go into my favorites, I've already covered that. But let's talk about samples. So when I talk about samples, the obvious thing that comes to people's mind is Splice. And yes, I do use Splice. Splice is a really good option when it comes to getting good sounds and it's for a number of reasons. There's a reason why people use it. For one, you get access to just loads and loads and loads of really good sounds, popular sounds that people are using. And that can be a, a, an upside and a downside. The upside is you get really current sounding samples. Uh, the downside is you might find yourself with something that sounds exactly like what somebody else has. So you kind of got to walk that line when it comes to Splice. But they have really good, just, just a huge library. It runs on a credit system. So basically, you know, it is, a, it is a membership. You pay every month. You do not have to keep it the whole time. But I believe it starts at $7.99 a month and that gets you a good amount of samples. I can't remember exactly how many, but it's it's a lot. You can go through and use those credits to, to purchase your samples. And your credits do roll over from month to month, so it doesn't reset every month. You get to roll those over, which I think is dope. Now, the only catch is if you do cancel your membership, obviously you can keep the sounds that you've downloaded, but the downside is you no longer have your splice library of sounds that you can just go and download to another device all over again. You know, it's kind of convenient the way splice works. Everything is stored in the cloud and you can just like instantly download all of your samples to whatever device um, that you want to use it on and that's really clutch now it gives a little finicky on the ipad with the you know the splice app i haven't found a way to just download all of my samples right away but you can download samples individually but yeah that's splice i'm not gonna go you know i'm not gonna browse the whole library for you but it's really good it's really it's worth the price so i wanted to get that out of way out of the way because i knew what people were gonna be like oh yeah you just go to sounds of splice I get a good amount, but that's not it. So another good resource when it comes to picking your sounds is find your favorite producers, the ones that you follow that you enjoy and find their sound packs. Most well-known producers and even a lot of not well-known producers are making their own sound packs. And some of them are garbo, some of them are trash, but some of them are great. Um, and I've, you know, I'll, I'm gonna tell you some of the ones that I recommend here in just a second, but a lot of producers have a free and a paid option. So a lot of times they'll have their free kit that they'll give to you and then you can also purchase some of their packs. Mobile Music Pro is in the chat. I meant to mention Mobile Music Pro, but he's got, uh, Vortex has got a lot of, I think a few sound packs at this point, two or three. 
sound packs of his own, um, definitely check out his website and, and cop some of those. But I'm gonna show you some of mine that I use regularly. So uh, the count, I mentioned the count because I did that count challenge, his percussion is unmatched. He gives a lot for free. So he's got a lot of packs in here. If you look on his website, obviously there's just a ton, but he, he does these things called the care package. So counts care package. He's up to care package five now. Those go for zero dollars or, you know, he has the option to pay what you'd like. Um, I always think that's super cool uh, for people to be able to, you know, kick a little something for the, the amazingness that the count's cooking up. Um, so there's also some paid packs. Um, you know, they are a little pricey in my opinion, some of them 50, 40, 30, 35. But to be honest, that's not, that's not at all bad for the amount of really good percussion that he's giving you. You know what? In my Beatmaker 3, I have one or two of the Count's care packages. I'll play for you, you know, just a few samples off there, see what it's like. So he's got a lot of, of one shots and that's what I'm into is one shot percussion. Um, so here's some of his stuff, you know, he's got like a, some good hats in here. There's a raw snare, noisy tape clap. Layer clap, couple snares. Here's a drum loop. I mean, that's fire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's also got random stuff like, sorry, that's really loud. Um, yeah, he's got stuff like this, melodic loops. He's got some other stuff like this, pretty dope. I just like, he uses a lot of analog synths and stuff like that, so everything is just really, has a really warm feel to it. Um, and he does a lot of stuff with tape. Yeah, typical 80s drums. <laughs> anyway, that's a few. All of his percussion is killer. Obviously he has more than percussion, but the Count's known for his percussion. Anyway. I highly recommend anything, anything in his in his store. Check that out. I know a lot of you guys have heard of Kyle Beats, probably from his Drip plugin ad that shows like on every single video about music production. <laughs> Obviously, he has a few free ones. The one that I've been using is the Andromeda kit. I haven't even checked these other two out, Galaxy and Pluto. But uh, if they're anything as good as the Andromeda kit, they're killer. So free packs, like shop your favorite producers they've got free packs and if they really give you value support them cop a paid kit gavi gavi's a killer producer been following his stuff for the longest time uh it's g-a-w-v-i all of his stuff is right here uh he's got you know a good amount of of kits in here check him out and then i know you guys have i've talked about the midi chord pack before the unison midi chord pack there this is not a collection of sounds this is a collection of midi when i purchased the unison midi pack uh, it came with the Unison Loop Pack as a bonus. And the Unison Loop Pack is all right. It's got some loops in it. It's not It's not percussion stuff. I'm more of a percussion one-shot type of guy. But he's got some melodic loops in there. Check that out. If you're going to go for the Unison MIDI Chord Pack, check out my video before about it. Those are my, you know, recommendations when it comes to, like, some of my favorite producers. I also have a, a sound pack from Beautiful Eulogy, which is a group uh, under the label Humble Beast. Their stuff is killer. I don't think they sell those anymore, but I have some of their percussion and it's pretty great. Next up, and, I, and I've been saving this one, but Looperman. Looperman's pretty great. Looperman is a collection of free sounds. Now there's some benefits and some downsides to this. First of all, is Looperman, it's not one shot percussion and stuff like that. It's not one shots, it's just loops. So you go here for loops. I mean, I'm sure they have percussion loops, they have, you know, all kinds of melodic, harmonic loops, but no one shot percussion, which is what I generally look for. But if you need loops, Looperman is free. You're not gonna get any trouble for using them. You just have to wade through, you know, there's some good stuff and there's some not good stuff as far as quality goes. You just, you know, when it comes to using free stuff that's community based, you get, you know, what you pay for, which in this case is free. Uh, but you'll, you'll find some gems in there. I found some good stuff. Those are my top recommendations. Now, when I talk about samples, I wanna be really clear when it comes to like samples and loops and things like that. Personally, this is my personal thing. This is, I'm not putting this on everybody else, but I tend to try to lean towards 
one-shot samples for a reason. The loops that are the most popular, they're most popular for a reason. Your stuff's gonna sound like everybody else's. And a lot of times, you know, I've used a loop before, like a full loop, like it was a guitar loop and I used it for the track. And then I played my track and held it up to Shazam and it pulled up somebody else's song with the same exact loop. And it's like, dang. That, that's not a good feeling as a producer when you know you you put your work into something and somebody else's stuff pops up. It's because you're using something that's not you know your loop. Now you can do that. You can do it tastefully. You can edit the loop. You can make it. You can flip it, change it however you want. Um, but when it comes to using loops, I personally try to avoid them. Part of it is because they really suck me in. Um, I'm not good. I personally am not good at using loops and then like cutting a loop out. Like if I hear a loop that sounds really good, I just want to use it the way it is. And it's really hard to get out of that. You know, modifying, this, like changing the BPM or the pitch, to me, that doesn't do a lot. Unless you drastically change either one of those parameters, uh, I feel like a lot of times your stuff's gonna be really rec recognizable. Um, but if you're just making a track for fun, I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey. Those are my recommendations for sounds. Uh, my question of the day to you is, which recommendation are you gonna check out? I'm curious to see which of these piqued your interest and which ones you're considering putting in your own music. I personally am gonna recommend places where I've seen some really good percussion because that's what my sample game is about, is percussion. And a lot of what I do as far as melodic stuff and harmonic stuff, uh, I do with my own instruments and software instruments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what was most helpful to you um, in the comment section and uh, we will definitely hit this back again next week. Until next time creatives, go make something dope and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.